those who follow my videos, if you see me with, sitting on this stool, I'm very sure you must know that I want to vaccinate. I bought, I made this stool myself when I was still a porter on the site. I made it, it was a lunch hour. You can see how it looks like. I made it at lunch hour. Of course, when you're a porter, you don't have too much work. After mixing the sand, then you make it. You can do anything you want. So, apart from the stool, yes, we want to talk about fallpox. Fallpox is one of the diseases which people have not known, especially those who are doing local birds or those who are doing layers and they are not aware of this disease. It is one of the worst diseases you can have on the farm. If it hits your layers, expect no air. This is a disease that has made many farmers to give up. It is a disease that we must vaccinate. Whether you are doing local birds or you are doing croilers or you are doing layers, you must vaccinate these, these, these birds. It is vaccinated usually. They recommend five weeks, six weeks. And if you don't do vaccination, mm -hmm. what I know at six weeks is the best. But sometimes we go up to eight weeks. Sometimes we go to seven weeks. But the best time to vaccinate is at six weeks. So please, I want to share with you how what we use to vaccinate. We use a vaccine, of course. I have showed you vaccines before. When I go to buy a vaccine, I don't have a flask or anything to carry my vaccine. But I told you that vaccine is very fragile. It is to be carried with care. Because it is a live, it is a live disease. How can I call it? For layman's language, it's a live disease. The disease you're going to vaccinate against is live. Hmm? So let's give an example. If you're going to vaccinate polio in a human being, you're vaccinating with a live polio virus. So you are going to vaccinate with the live virus of this. So when you go to ask, when you go to buy, you ask them to give you a, a medicine to vaccinate against fallpox. The vets know, but you too. You can notice it is called avian it is called avian pox. They give it to you. They know. So this this vaccine, you see, it is in a solid form. It has been solidified. So when you get it like this, you know it is it is written on freeze dried live vaccine against avian pox. Then they give you also the water. You can ask, the, they give you for 500 doses or they give you for 1,000 doses, depending on the number of the birds you have. So this one is for 1,000. These are 600 birds. So when you are vaccinating, I, I told you you must have this vaccine, then you have its water. We have this special needle, this one. So you mix the two. We have a special needle here. They give it to you, but of course, I kept one for last year, but of course they gave me another one today. So that means if you have like someone to vaccinate for you and you become a tool, if you have like a work, I want to train. It's good you train them. Train your workers. So this one I'm going to, 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 to train my worker here. So that the, the it's always easier. Fallpox is a disease which attacks the eyes. It somehow looks like a avian influenza. You shut up, baby. Oh dear, sorry. It's like avian influenza. It, it may attack the, the, the eye, then the eye gets swollen. But the bird usually has to, it, uh, how can I call it? It is itchy, it itches. The, the bird starts crying. It cries a lot. Avi, this avian, the, the, this avian pox, or the fall pox, it attacks the cob. When you see your chickens having cobs which are having uh, wounds, that is usually suspect fall pox. Or if the eyes are crying, suspect fallpox. And if you don't vaccinate at this age, you may not tell if it has the fallpox or not, because the cob is not yet grown. But if it is a mature bird, the cob is grown. And you can really tell that this bird is sick. So I'm going to show you how we do. We mix these two. We mix this. And please, what you remove from the bottle, these things, chickens like eating them. And if it eats it, it goes straight 
to the stomach and they will kill it. Don't pass in the intestine, you can't. They will kill it. So avoid throwing these things in your chickens. After tearing that, I will also tear this one. Please put these things in the polythene bag. Don't leave any behind. This is meant for our simple farmers eh? who, who, who have starter farms. So I mix both of them. Come on, this is the medicine. And this is the, the water. Distilled water, not any water. Meant for this vaccine. And it is measured. So we pour here. So that it can become at least diluted or it dissolves here. Hey, someone said recently in the comment section that they like your English version of Uganda. I was like, oh my dear. So what you hear, as long as the word is not clear, you put for me in the comment section. I want always to educate people in a simple way. I don't want to fake my language. This is Kataps. The English I speak is really the language that comes out of my mouth and my head. So we mix. You're yeah, mixing. So you can see it is dissolving. Slowly dissolving. Of course, at this, at this moment, you can even shake it. Because it is only now one bottle. Hmm? I shake it. Shake, 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 shake. It dissolves completely until it is. And it is dissolved. Now, how do we vaccinate? I told you that uh, we already have our mixed medicine. That is uh, the vaccine mixed with the water. So you you check. It is written always on the vaccination schedules that you do the wing web. The wing web is this one. You can see the the wing. The wing web is in between here. It's like a, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm torturing you. I want to show you the wing web properly. You see this wing. It has a joint. And again, it has a skin. It has a bone and a nerve. Now, because we want to do the wing web, we take this web. It is just a skin. So, you get your needle. Draw a little medicine from here. The needle has, it is made in a special way that, you can see the needle has, like, uh, they are not holes, but it, it lifts the medicine directly. So when you put it there, like this, it is already having the medicine on it. So, when you lift the medicine like this on the needle, you directly put in the wing web here. I hope, I hope you are seeing here, you put in the web here, just once. Put it and brings out and it goes. You never, never put any medicine in any nerve of a bird. We do the skin and we do the web. Or we put in the mouth or in the nose. But this one specifically is for the wing web. Right now, I'm going to vaccinate all these. As I put them on the other side of the structure, I'll put this. Of course, I'll put a small. I'll put a small mesh. Can you see the mesh? Here. It separates us. Of course, after the demonstration, now it is a time to work. Heavy duty. I give this vitamin every time I finish vaccination. Because they are stressed. And once they are stressed, you give them some vitamin. I usually like giving them this amino of it because it has worked for me for a long time. If you don't have this and you're a local farmer, you can use the purple leaves. You can give them uh, any plant that has flavor. Especially our plants like this mint. All that. So this one will help your birds to get the, at least the appetite back. 